Okay, so here we have the second boat that I've decided to model, and this one's called Playboy Mark II. It's derived from the Playboy plans by William Jackson, and it's the same as the boat called Lady S that I built several years ago. I'll put the uh, card up for the video that shows the pictures and stuff of that if you want to have a look at it. So um, I'm just going to basically go over what's included in this model, not in too much detail because it runs on the same principles as the video that I did for Rocket and the same kind of plan sets. It's just a few differences with this boat which I'm going to cover. So it's a 13 foot runabout, nice little open boat which is powered by an outboard engine, anything up to sort of 50 horsepower would be suitable for this. Loads of space for quite a small boat which is nice, so you've got seating for six people in total, two bench seats in the back and then two individual seats forward and it's got a floor system that I've put in as well so that gives you quite a nice surface to walk about in the back. And what's really nice about this boat actually is that you can get access right back to the engine even if you've got people sat in the back there so um, for a small boat you've got a really nice amount of space inside. Construction wise this boat is done the same way that Rocket Mark II is so um, the same sort of jointed frame system. What you can see in this design is the strong back that I've drawn. So this wasn't actually in the original plan video for Rocket Mark II. It's something that I've now added to the Rocket plans and also utilized with this boat. So uh, it just means that you can build the boat on an uneven floor because it's quite rare that floors are that good a surface to build from. So this framework just helps you along with these legs position each frame and the stem in the correct location when it comes to building the boat. So all of those are made up of two layers. So you can see there's one leg there that sits just after the frame to help you keep it vertical. And then one that sits underneath the forward side of the frame to correctly position its height. So you've got those for each frame. And then there's a slightly different one for the transom, which helps position that at the correct angle because you've got a slanted back transom on this. So you can see that's how they fit in there and then up against the back section of the strong back there. Um, there's also support work put in place for the seats and this all notches into the frames as you can see there and supports the aft seats and as I said you've got the floor system in the back there. So if I take out the floorboards you can see what you've actually got on these frames are flat spots which support the floor and then cutouts for battens which support them lengthways. The transom knee also has a little notch just on here which supports the aft section of floorboard which you can see there is just cut around it. The frames utilize the same notched system that I used on Rocket Mark II for all the parts to fit together. This design also utilizes the same type of method with the frame construction board that I've shown with Rocket. You've still got the dowels here that position all the frame parts and everything goes together using the same process. So that should help you with alignment of everything that you need for the uh, frame parts. This design also has the same uh, keel form, similar to the way that I did it in Rocket, but uh, with a few variations, obviously, because the keel is different on this boat, but uh, much the same principle, really. You've got cutouts in the keel form there that help you position each of the frames correctly. And coupled with the frame support legs, that should give you everything you need to correctly align all of the boat parts for a nice straightforward assembly. One thing that people have mentioned on the rocket plans is that it would be good to have the hole positions in the gussets for where the screws should be to save you manually doing that. So what I've done on this design is um, I've actually incorporated that. So if we have a little look at the DXF files, this is just a typical nested 9mm ply sheet and you can see here that what I've added in little markers for where you should position a screw on each of the gussets. Uh, these are positioned far enough in on the gusset so that they'll be in the correct position after you've fared this frame because particularly in the forward frames this one side of the gusset will come down quite a lot so the screws are all positioned such that they will avoid that also so that they will avoid the joints in the frames. And for each gusset, you've got a part A and a part B. So what happens is when you overlay the two of those, you'll see that the screw positions are slightly offset. So you'll have one screw there and one screw just on a different offset to it. So uh, the two won't meet and catch in the middle of the frame, which should make things much more straightforward and avoid any issues. 
I'm also going to adopt that system with Rocket, so I'm going to go back and uh, revise the plan version for Rocket Mark II and incorporate this same thing, because I think that's quite a good feature to have in there. The CNC plans come with the same instructional document as, uh, as Rocket does, and that gives you all sorts of information about the various different parts, how they're labelled and how they go together. There's a general assembly page which just shows you a couple of different views of how things are all located, section for the seating, various different bits of information that should help you out. Coupled with that there is the 3D SketchUp model, so you can look around the 3D model and uh, see how parts are located, how they fit. So there we go, there's a quick overview of Playboy Mark II, shows you a little bit about the boat and what's included in the plan set. Hopefully you found it useful. If you've got any questions about the design or anything at all, just drop them in the comments below and hopefully I'll be able to answer them for you. Okay, cheers guys, I'll catch you in the next video.